Hey team, what's up? It's Erin here and welcome to Friday Moves. Happy, happy Friday. I hope that the end of your week is uh, finishing off just as strong and positive and awesome as the beginning of your week. And uh, yeah, I hope you're ready for some uh, exercises today. I've got some good ones for you. You're gonna need a water bottle or a weight. I've got a tea towel here, something slippery on the floor. If you don't have a slippery floor, if you have carpet and you happen to have a slider, then you can use that. Or if you don't have that at all, or you can just kind of hover the foot over the, the floor. So I'll show you that. That's for a, a single legged squat. So I also am going to be using the couch for an incline push up. I've got a supported row, so we're going to use the couch again. So you can use basically anything, even if you're using the wall, that's totally fine. You can use the wall, a windowsill, counter, tabletop. Just make sure that whatever you're using is going to support you. It's safe and it's not going to topple over. All right. So first one, I'm actually going to start off with the supported row. So I'm going to put my tea towel over here for now. We'll grab it in a moment. And first off with the supported row, I'm going to be coming down and using this couch for support. So I'm supporting a little bit of the weight of my upper body in this row, but I really want to make sure that I'm not forgetting to engage through the core and the glutes. It's really important. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to come here. I'm going to make a fist because my couch is a little bit soft and my wrists end up and then my fingers are above my wrist. I'm going to make a fist to support for this one. Okay. So I'm going to be here, my water bottle, and my weight, and I'm going to take the weight, like the opposite hand is going to support. So this hand's working, my opposite hand is supporting, and then the same thing. So this leg, same side as the supporting arm, you're supporting with that leg, working hand, the working, uh, that leg goes back. Okay, if that makes any sense at all. So with the supported row, you want to make sure, again, that you're really pulling and engaging through the core, so pulling the belly button in, squeeze those glutes, and make sure that you're not just forgetting about your lower body and hanging out here, and you're not kind of like, here we go, I'm on a roll, although sometimes it looks like this, sometimes at the gym, right? But that's not what we're gonna do. So we're gonna make sure that our shoulders are square, okay, everything is nice and supported there, okay, this is what it would look like, if I was, if I had a couch here. Okay, so from there, hips are square, facing forward, and level, and not dropping out, not one hip is pulling back. Okay, both knees are bent, belly button's pulled in. So at that point, you're going to hang that arm like you've got, like it's a rope, and you've got a little hook, and your hook is hooked onto those weights, or that weight. Then you're gonna drive that elbow, so lead, with the, the back though, so you're gonna pull. So if you let that shoulder go, it's gonna kind of drop a little bit. You wanna pull the shoulder blade toward the spine, okay? Shoulders down away from the ears, glutes engaged, belly button in, and then you're gonna lead with that elbow, squeezing the shoulder blade in towards the spine even more. So on the way down, we're gonna go for two counts. On the way up, we're gonna go, oh sorry, on the way up, we're going for two. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, squeeze. One, two, three on the way down. Then you're gonna switch arms of 10 each side. Okie dokes. Enough with the weight. We're gonna go into our slider squat. All right, so I'm just gonna throw this on the floor. Okay, if you don't have the floor, just remember you're kinda just sliding your foot across the carpet or just hovering above, depending on where you're at. If stability is an issue for you and balance, grab a chair, put it in front, no problem. Just make sure that you've got some support or a countertop or wall beside you, anything like that. We're going to be working this supporting leg here. So this is the one that's going to be moving with the slider. This is the one that's going to be working the most. So again, you want to try and keep your hips level and squared, shoulders level and squared. You're sinking, you're gonna be bending or hinging at the hips and at the knees here. So remember it's a squat, not a deadlift type motion. So we wanna be bending at both joints. Okay? You're going to support, ground through that, that foot. In this case, it's my right. 
And then this first movement, I'm gonna slide this foot forward as I come down into that squat. So again, if you have a chair, wall, anything like that to help support balance, awesome. So you're coming down, sliding out. Try to make sure that you're not bringing that knee forward. So you still want the bum back and down, chest is lifted, pull it back. Out to the side, same thing, your knee is facing forward, sliding that leg in, and back. Kind of like a little bit of a lunge, the back tip. So you're gonna be doing this, five of these sequences, each leg, hey, from the side, when you're going forward, still bums coming back over to the side and awesome so that is your slider single leg squat last exercise incline push-up okay I'm gonna show you a different variation if you want a bit more of a challenge you can try this out so I'm gonna plant both hands my wrists are gonna be kind of on the edge of this couch I'm gonna pull my belly button in hey before I even get set up make sure that my hands are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart but the wrist is under the shoulder. So you don't want to be back here with your arms or way out front, in front of your wrists. So roughly line up, but shoulder width apart. Hey, again, belly button's pulling in. I'm gonna take my feet back here. You can take your feet out wide for a better base of support or bigger base of support, but you want to make sure that you're squeezing the glutes, hey, pulling the belly button in, hey, and then you're leading with the chest coming down towards squeezing the shoulder blades together and as you press up think about pressing the ground away hey you want to avoid this hey because that all that weight is in your arms and then you see you're kind of pressing back and you're not in alignment so what you want to think about is um, when you're doing this your all your weight is in your arms and this is a full body exercise so you want to treat it like a full body exercise and the whole body comes down, the whole body presses up and out. All right, for your challenge, if you want to try, you can lift one leg, okay? So if you try this from the ground and it doesn't quite work for you, but you want to try and get this challenge and variation in, try it from the couch. Okay, that is all for your moves today. Have a happy day. Let me know if you need any questions. Uh, different exercises, alternatives, if you've got injuries you're working with, let me know. And uh, otherwise, we'll see you again tomorrow for Saturday. Enjoy your day, guys. Take care.